Hello everybody, it is me Train Dude here. Montreal is a city alive with history, language, and motion. Over 4 million people call this region home, with about 1.8 million people living right here on the island itself. Nearly half speak French as their first language, 13% speak English, and most switch between both with ease. Beneath the surface runs one of North America's oldest and busiest metro systems. Four main lines, the orange line looping through downtown, the green line stretching east to west, the blue line cutting across the city's heart, and the short but vital yellow line connecting to the south shore. But now, something entirely new is joining them, a system that reaches beyond the island, above the streets, and into the future. This is the REM, the Russell Express Metropolitan, a 67 kilometer, 26 station automated electric rail network that will connect downtown Montreal to the airport, the West Island, the North Shore, and the South Shore. It's not an extension of the old metro, it's a brand new system built for the next generation of transit in Quebec. This is Montreal's new run network. Before I begin, I make a lot of content from anything from architecture, trains, planes, urban planning, gaming, and many many more. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on my content and still to help grow my channel and gain more subscribers. First, let's discover the existing metro system in Montreal. The Montreal Metro first opened in 1966, just in time for Expo 67, a showcase of modern design and global innovation. It started with three lines, the green, the orange, and yellow line. Trains glided quieter on rubber tires, a French innovation that made the system smoother and quieter than most in the world. Over the decades, the network expanded. The blue line opened in the 1980s carving a new path across the city's north side. Today, the metro serves over a million riders every weekday, with 68 stations connecting every major corner of the island. But as Montreal grew outward, the metro stayed mostly within the island. Suburbs expanded, communities lengthened, and new connections became harder to reach. That's when a new idea began to take shape, one that would redefine what transit could be for the region. The Russell Express Metropolitan, or REM, is the next step. A 67-kilometer, 26-station automated light rail network designed to link the city's core with the suburbs and the airport and beyond. Entirely electric, entirely driverless, and built to complement the existing metro, not replace it. For the first time, Montreal's transit system won't stop at the island's edge. It will go far beyond it. Construction began in 2018, led by CDPQ Infra, one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in Canadian history. The old DX Montagnus commuter line was transformed into a high frequency corridor, modernized for automated operation. Each train can reach 100 km per hour, running every few minutes. No drivers, no delays, just smooth precision. This project blends old and new, the spirit of the 1960s metro, but of 21st century technology and reach. In July 2023, the REM's first segment opened, the South Shore brand from Gare Centraille to Brossward. Five stations, Gare Centraille, Il Dis, Source, Panama, Do Quartier, and Brossward. The trip that once took a half an hour in traffic now takes under 20 minutes, gliding across the St. Lawrence River with Montreal's skyline just ahead. The next stages will bring the REM even farther to Montreal Trudeau Airport up to Dwex Montagnes. 
and West to Sante Ana di Bolivue. Once completed by 2027, the system will carry nearly 190,000 passengers each day, connecting the suburbs and the city in ways the original metro never could. Step inside and you immediately feel the difference. The trains are open, bright, and quiet, with wide open gangways, smooth acceleration, and almost no vibration. Every car is connected end to end, letting passengers move freely throughout the entire train. Large panoramic windows flood the space with light and give stunning views of the city, from river crossings to tunnels beneath downtown. The lighting is clean and modern. The seats simple and comfortable, and the announcements play clearly in both French and English. It's a calm, modern experience, the kind of ride that makes you forget you're even moving. The RAM is more than just a transit project. It's a statement about Montreal's future. Cleaner air, faster commutes, and more ways for people to move without a car. It connects the island and its suburbs into one unified region, sustainable, efficient, and built for generations to come. The run marks the beginning of a new chapter for Montreal, one where innovation meets tradition, and where an old metro city evolves into a fully connected region. It's a symbol of how cities can adapt, grow, and still keep their character intact. Whether you're a lifelong Montreal resident or a first-time visitor, the RUM isn't just a train. It's the next step in your city's story. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.